All right, life in the most dangerous hood of Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico right now with ABG Neo, we went to four different hoods. We went to Ardenes de Coupe, we went to La Perla, we went to uh, La Mapa. But right now, as you're watching this, we went to Banabajo. If you want to see us in the other four hoods, watch to the end. Stay here. Okay. Everyone told me Yo, not JT, to go to the projects of Puerto Rico. And over the course of four days, we waited hours to ultimately gain access to places that few foreigners have ever been. So come with me as we get to see firsthand life in the most dangerous hoods of Puerto Rico. Damn, damn. Puerto Rico is a real colorful, uh, it's a real colorful place. Damn, what is that? Is that a Draco? Nah, what the fuck? That, that shit look antique. We're about to go see the hood, the projects. This is basically one of the one of the hardest hoods right now. So we're about to kill it, man. So the projects we're about to go to, have you been there before? I've been there, I record music there before I've been there. Oh, yeah. What's your rap name? Cali Doso, Cali Colombia La Casa. So Puerto Rico has like a huge music scene. Definitely, this is where Everything started like for the Spanish culture, you know, reggaeton is from here, you know, Spanish rappers, the biggest ones are from here. The first place we pulled up to is 15 minutes from the tourist area of San Juan. Wait. I was in that area. We were picking up our, uh, our rental car there. Niggas didn't tell me it was a hood. I, it was a gated, the place I went to was gated though. And immediately we realize these hoods are nothing like the ones in America. These guys are militant. They have body armor, AKs, walkie talkies. And my first impression oh, is no, like, where the fuck am I? We're in Ardenas, they coupe. It's lit right now. We in the ABG trenches. ABG Neil. You know what I'm saying? It's a little hectic right now. We're, you know, we're, just, we're out here. We just got here. About to see what's up and you know, see how they're living out here. They have a whole facility. They have yeah. like recording studios, a basketball yeah. court. and have, uh, It's like a cargo crate. They turn yeah, into yeah. a club. Yeah, well, let me show you That's out here. Um, it's more like a chill spot where you can really get your drinks. You can get your little chips, you know, all your munchies and stuff. Basically, this is the projects. To be in here, you need to really know somebody. I'm bewildered at where we're even at right now, bro. We're like in a storage crate somewhere deep in Puerto Rico. The camera is not doing the situation justice. We are in a storage crate in the middle of the projects. Everyone around us is talking in Spanish and we're surrounded by armed guards that we're not allowed to film. So I decide to take a shot to ease my nerves. All right, cheers. Gracias, bro. To Puerto Rico, yeah? Salud. 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 I think they give it up for that. <laughs> so right now we're just, you know, we're just trying to, you know, see what we can and what we can't do. It's you know, it's very militant and very organized, but they've been very nice. They've been giving us the shots and you know, we're having a good time. And, you know, shout out to uh, the good men from Jardines de Coupi. How you feeling right now? You feeling? I feel good, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like 11 p.m. and we're, it's like raining and yeah. we're in a strange part of Puerto Rico. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good. It's 11 p.m. and we're <laughs> knee deep in the trenches. So they have some courts right here. This is a really official stadium yeah. for a housing project. You know, big artists come here and give back to the communities and the projects here and they, and they don't count just for free. So oh, that's it's tough. a cool setting. What was it like uh, growing up here? It's duro, en verdad. It's difficult for, por lo menos, para personas que que son de bajos recursos, como los de caserío y eso. En verdad, un poquito difícil, pero se puede. How much has music influenced like this area in general? Pues realmente mucha, mucha. Yo te diría que no solamente en esta área, en Puerto Rico entero. Ahora mismo, literal, esta es la cuna de cantantes. Aquí todo el mundo canta. Cualquiera. Hay una página que se llama Freestyle Manía que. que Sabes que ahí hay un montón de gente que es un babestia, que tampoco están en esa página que también rompen por ahí. Sabes que en verdad la competencia como tal es mucha, es grande, es grande. I see my man's rocking the, he's rocking the Rick and Morty sweatshirt. Yo, Mike Tepp, they were three months. Kind of cartoons. Yeah, I like to. Project Bay, they were the 24 months, 21 months, and psychotic. They were the 17 months. I like to. I like Juju Sukai sin tu, Bleach. Type shit. Hell yeah. Entiende que son buenos. I like the Boondocks. I like the Boondocks. What's some, what's some good things about growing up here? Like, what's some positive? Pues realmente las cosas positivas aquí eh, el, en verdad es que somos bien unidos en cuestión, o sea, el boricua es bien unido, se apoya mucho, somos bien patriotas en cuestión de que, o sea, nosotros sabemos que venimos de una isla pequeña, tiene mucho, mucho potencial, ¿me entiendes? What's something that people may not know from the outside looking in that bro would want them to know? Corrupto, que eso es lo más, por lo menos lo más que le pesa al pueblo es, es 
Thank you, Chad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 2024 music. The next guy we talked to is the manager of an artist from Puerto Rico named Julito, whose music has garnered millions of views. Tell us a little bit about Julito. De Residencial Guanamato, el cual, ¿verdad?, comenzó su carrera en Freestyle Manía, en la plataforma de Benny Benny, dándole, de ahí lo vimos, eh, se le consiguió un buen contrato con una disquera y por ahí para abajo, ¿me entiendes? Y hemos seguido trabajando. What do you think makes the Puerto Rican music scene so impactful? Yo, Brandon Buckingham, can you dub this video for me, bro? Se fomenta que el talento se desarrolle, ¿me entiendes? Aquí se apoya al, al artista, ¿me entiendes? Aquí hay unión entre los artistas y eso pues hace especial la música de Puerto Rico y que los artistas lleguen al próximo nivel. They run like a serious operation out here. Okay. Look at that, bro. You see it? That's airsoft, bro. You don't have to blur Ooh. I, could, oh, I don't know if I could grab it or not. I don't want to just pick it up. I'm trying to get out the line of that barrel. Hey, trust me. Hey, trust me, man. These people don't know what they're doing. Oh, no, no, you never know. Get, get Is it smoking? Yeah, he said he he cleans cleans it. It. Nigga say he not putting no fingerprints on that bitch. <laughs> nigga, I don't know if he know what he doing though, bro. Because the nigga, there was a bullet in the barrel and he has it pointed at you while he's trying to get it out. I don't want to pick it up. Trying to get out the line of that barrel. Hey, trust me. Hey, trust me, man. These people... No, Brandon, Brandon, you made the right decision, broski. But unless you know there's no bullets in that bitch at all, I'm not pointing that shit at nobody. I don't know what they're doing. I'm not pointing at nobody oh, regardless. Yeah, he said he, he, he cleans it every oh, day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, Look at that. You see what's going on. With the Supreme Mag. I mean, listen, the Supreme Mag, you see what's going on. You see that. This is what we're doing out here. This can't go on YouTube, but. It's a prop. It's a prop. 40. Shit of the dots. You are? Feeling like uh, I even Drago with the Draco right now. About I'm not gonna lie, bro. The, the accuracy on that shit gotta be bad, bro. He nigga said baited. <laughs> they about to plant a crime on this nigga. <laughs> Get a, about, to, about to get a kill streak sniper. It's okay if you don't want to answer this, but what do you think is the biggest difference between the streets where we're from, New York, and like the streets here? Los guardias son la la ley. It's a very bad gun. Fuerte. Aquí guardia más o menos, ¿me entiendes? Ya fuera los guardias son ah ya fuera la calle bien. Okay, so like, why is he showing this on camera? You know, like most people would be afraid to show their face and the gun, but why is he so confident? Distinta la de aquí, demasiado distinta en cuestión de allá es ganga, ¿verdad? Sí. Pues aquí es corrido. This is one of the oh, biggest props, things I learned props. while filming this video. In America, the police enforce the law. In Puerto Rico, the gangs are the law. I, ask him if he thinks it's more structured here than this, in the States. Hey, aquí, eh, sí, aquí más código, exacto. Allá afuera, todo el mundo le roba a todo el mundo, se matan he entre ellos. Here, okay. no. Here, yeah. like, PR is not about... What's like, what's like what? the biggest codes that everybody, that majority, everybody stands by out here? No chotear. Sí, esa es el código. No, Yo, no, Narmir, no thank you for the five months. Este, no ser puerco y ni violador. What do you think about the, the music scene in America, like the rap scene? A mí me gusta, me, me da musa. Me gusta Andre, Drake, este, yeah. me gusta Gucci Men, Gucci Men. Los artistas americanos nos dan musa en cuestión de los flow y los ritmos. Es algo que nosotros también escuchamos porque. What's like the? Well, uh, not to be a stickler or anything like that, but Drake is Canadian. Uh, but you know, I'm sure he meant in North American or whatever. Like you know, uh, the biggest difference between like the New York drill scene and like, the drill scene out here. Stop. Uh, contra Stop. Ganga. Aquí es calle que si te pueden matar por, ¿lo entiendes? Tienes que saber cómo hablar en las canciones. También el corillo somos hermanos, nos criamos aquí entre todos, ¿me entiendes? Y se cae un hermano, pues nosotros estamos aquí por nuestros hermanos, ¿me entiendes? Y es que es como una una rueda. Hay muchos que se mueren muy rápido. Hey, any advice for people involved in the street? Pues mi consejo es que si se van a meter para la calle, que hagan las cosas bien, no tengan malas mañas, no ser puerco, caminar bien. Pero mi consejo es que nunca se metan para la calle, que se pongan a estudiar, que se pongan a trabajar, que busquen que busquen una meta porque la calle no deja nada bueno y no es buena para nadie. After doing some interviews at the courts, Legion took us on a walk around his projects. So, uh, how many people live in this project housing? It's like 5,000, bro. 5,000 people live here? Mm -hmm. And how big are the units? Do they get to be like three bedroom or? It depends, it depends. Some yeah. casas, yeah. they get as big as four? These ones are like houses, these ones are like houses and the other ones are like buildings. They got like three bedroom, two bedrooms. It just depends. 
What's the, what's the cheapest housing here? Some people pay, some people not because some people get help from the uh, government. Section 8. Something I find interesting about these projects is that they have their own food truck that's open all night right there in the middle of the hood. This is a tripleta, hamburger, this is menu. Okay. This is your Burger King? Hey. 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 Probably even better, right? Hey, see. Even better. Hey. Next, I asked them what they do if police ever do come into the projects. Even when the police come, everybody so from what I understand, if the police pull up, everyone just yells, "Water, water!" Asking, how are the girls here in this uh, pro in these projects? Where are the girls are? I'm buena, I'm buena. So, so when I'm bella, he's honey, he's honey here. The lady, is the best. It's the it's best. The best. Yeah. yeah. For a Rican girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the second best? Dominican. Um, Colombia three. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, uh, la morena. Yes. Big booty. Okay. mean by that? Nigga said W list. <laughs> big taste. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. He's a man of taste right here. Yeah. You play basketball with these big courts? Yeah. Uh, Steph Curry in that big? My name is Karibri. Huh? Karibri. Karibri? Can you give us a, can he rap for us a little bit? Can you give us a little, uh, yeah, little freestyle? Yeah, hell yeah. Tengo mucha pastilla en el sistema. He's too fake. Nigga said Puerto Rican bitches top one because they got the wettest. Yo, JC, you are too horny right now, my nigga. Tee the fuck up in the chat, bro. Tee the fuck up. Okay. What's your name? Who am I here with? Branton, Branton. Branton? Branton de la Compañía del Music. I'm Brandon. This is yeah. like the Puerto Rican version of Brandon. Yeah. Oh, bro. Close, bro. That's a good dad. There's people out there in the world that are slipping right now. What, do you have any advice for people how they could come correct, how they could just stay solid? Oye, que el que... Ay, siempre hay que prosperar en la vida. Y el que no... Sabe, tú tienes que siempre estar en, la, en positivo. Si tú eres una persona negativa, tú no vas a llegar a nada. Siempre tienes que ver las cosas ¿verdad? más allá, que se propongan lo que sus metas y que lo logren. We just ordered from the food stand down the way and they have incredible loaded fries. This project housing serves loaded fries with... Yo, how the fuck are all these niggas morbidly obese, bro? Damn, all the food I've been seeing from the food truck to this, this shit does not look healthy for you at all. How are they not obese? Ham, beef, and chicken. I just know you can't put all that shit right outside the A&P house, and I don't put on like 50 more pounds, bro. It's like $7 for a big plate. It's delicious. After enjoying my fries, it was about 3 a.m., so we decided to head back to the Airbnb. The next day, we woke up and headed to Old San Juan to check out the castles in the tourist area. We're walking up a big hill in Old San Juan. How you feeling? You enjoying this? I'm feeling dehydrated. I need Pepsi immediately. My, my liver's <laughs> giving out if I don't have soda in five minutes. Nigga hydrates with uh, Pepsi. Yeah, I'm having an aneurysm as we're recording. This is a crazy place. There's a whole castle. This is where Paul's ancestors live. <laughs> they built yeah, this Puerto Rican in my blood, yeah. Yeah. Yo, tell, tell them how you became Puerto Rican. See, I got stabbed with a knife with Puerto Rican blood on it. So I literally got Puerto Rican blood <laughs> in my body. I ain't capping. You look hella familiar, bro. Me? Yeah. What I look like? Uh, this dude named M.G. Neal. It's not me. To my right is La Perla, which is... Yo, I hate when niggas say that to me. And, and, and like, what do you, what do I say to that? Nah, that's not me. Yeah, you got me. It's me. <laughs> Bro, if you don't, if you're not familiar with me, my nigga. Little NPC, you bot. You bot. You bot. It's a notorious hood in Puerto Rico. A few years ago, someone came here trying to do a vlog or film something. I think they killed him. You might know La Perla as the location that the famous song Despacito was filmed at. But did you what? know that for decades, La Perla was considered the most dangerous hood in all of Puerto Rico? Initially starting off as the location of a slaughterhouse, in the 1800s, slaves were not allowed to live in the main area of Old San Juan. So they began setting up a shanty town around the slaughterhouse to live in. Eventually, poor farmers and workers set up their homes there as well. And the community of La Perla was established. For decades, the area has been the biggest heroin distribution point on the island. On April 27th, 2021, a 24-year-old man from Delaware was in La Perla taking photos. After being told to stop taking photos, the man did not heed the warning. He was then beaten to death with a deep fryer and an exercise weight before being set on fire. Tree rags? Whoa. That's not funny. That's a real situation. No, but Trey Rags literally has entire skits where he's killing niggas with dumbbells. No, that's super not funny, bro. Man. Only identify. <laughs> Dunzeldorf, nigga. 
Ah, there's just so much lore behind this crime. It just by his fingerprints. His killers were Lucky never captured. Months, in 2023, three more tourists were stabbed in La Perla for videotaping a hamburger stand. Needless to say, it's not a place you want to be caught with a camera. So after failing to find a connection in the area, we did a big brain move and decided to walk into La Perla alone to try and film. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? I want to walk down and buy something from a shop down there. The problem right now is that, uh, I want to walk down there, but we see about like, you know, four goons on the on their corner, you know, with shiesty masks on and, you know, you can see that, you know, they're playing, they're playing their block right now, so. You know Big Neil though. Yeah, they know me. I should walk in there like, it's me, right? I it's, should Neil. Tell them, it's, it's Neil. Just tell them it's Neil. It's Neil. Yeah, it's Neil. I'm about to say, you're not afraid, are you, Neil? <laughs> Neil, well, you're not going to not go just because niggas might be there, right? you go going to step regardless because that's what you want to do, right? Fuck it, I'm shit. I mean, I thought this was you, but if it's not you, man, fuck it, we can turn around. <laughs> I don't even say nothing. Callete, callete la boca. Sir, can I ask you a question? Do you think you guys can get us into that area? Why do you think us two gringos look like we know what? <laughs> you look like you're good in the hood, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, if I'm not mistaken, for my Spanish history class, that was like, that's what they used to call white people. That's what them Aztecs used to call white people in the Mayans, right? <laughs> do you guys want to come we with us to La Perla? No, we don't. Okay, well, hope you guys have a good day. All right, right now we're in La Perla. I run this shit. Um, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, said, nigga said, I still right do here, it. Though. It's close. They got chickens in the street, bro. This would be a hell of a fall. Wait, is it derogatory? Like, like, is it offensive? It's dangerous, like, the hard arm? It's dangerous. Everywhere you go is danger. Oh, my God, bro. I feel like I'm on a fucking... I need an OSHA card for this. I'm not in the union to be doing this shit. No? Immediately okay. as we walked down these stairs, a man yelled at us and asked, what were we doing? I told him I came in peace and just wanted to film a little bit of La Perla. Luckily, we were given the green light and proceeded to walk towards the basketball courts that Nigga Carmelo checked Anthony in. He had checked in. Yeah, listen, man, we spoke to the locals. You know, the locals are very nice. The day they said we're good to walk around. You know, we're good to go. You know, eat, eat side, any side we want to go to. You know, you see what's going on down here. It's just, you know. <laughs> you know. a lot of dilapidated buildings. Yeah, every, nothing's in good condition. Nothing is... I would not feel safe living in any of these Which buildings. Which is funny because everything oh, they got right a basketball there, and one tourist area is like super pristine. Right, right. It's like literally, you go, if you were to climb up this, it's all nice. And then down here, it's like the forgotten, you know, the forgotten city. But listen, we in the middle of Carmelo Anthony's basketball court. And oh my God, wait, I wish I would have hooped there. That seems so fucking, this seemed like some shit out of like NBA street, dog. There's a bunch of palm trees and an ocean in the background. That's vibey. Down here, it's like the forgotten, you know, the forgotten city. But listen, we in the middle of Carmelo Anthony's basketball court in La Perla. ABG Neil beats Brandon Buckingham in the worst neighborhood in Puerto Rico. Let's see the shot, Neil. Why is that guy pointing over there? Oh, man. That shit's mad deflated. Watch this, bro. I'm a young payoff stay off of it. Carmelo, like Carmelo made this right here? I ain't gonna lie, I hope this basketball don't have fentanyl on it. <laughs> you better catch a high? Yeah. Watch everybody get swarmed by like 20 people. I know. This fucking bull's ass. <laughs> okay. Okay. Damn. I got a match on. Shut up, count. Hold on. Shut up, Carmelo. For the game. Oh, it's off. Air it's ball. game. Chat's going crazy. Sorry. Bro. L's in the chat. <laughs> L's in the chat. <laughs> L's in a shot. Oh. After playing on the courts, we decided to head deeper into La Perla to explore the area further. Nice handicap accessible roads right here. We got the rubble. We got some good rubble. Y'all just visit the locations of the whites. Who's y'all? And what are you talking about? Where is the location of the whites in Puerto Rico? There were bright colored walls, dogs, chickens, and it seemed like over half the buildings were missing roofs, doors, and windows, likely caused by Hurricane Maria in 2017. Although we had gotten permission to film, we were all still pretty on edge. So much so that I actually forgot to plug in my- But you can't hit me with that. Damn nigga, I can't catch a break. So if I stay in the tourist areas, then that's a L. If I leave, everyone goes, it's not safe agent, that's a L. Bro, what the fuck you want me to do, nigga? Like, dead ass, bro. You can't tell me that, my nigga. I'm literally about to go to the rural areas of Ethiopia right now. Do you know there's a war going on in Ethiopia right now, bro? Like, hundreds of thousands of people have died in the past few years. Bro, you can't tell me that. When I went to, uh, when I went to Cancun, nigga said, don't leave the resort. It's dangerous. And I left, and nigga's like, oh, man, nigga taking his life for granted. L agent. Bro, like, I'm traveling, nigga. I'm, I'm there to experience shit, bro. I mean, I was doing whatever niggas recommended. We was driving around, though. We was driving around, chat. I guess the stream we did was there, but we shot a video, my nigga. You seen that. It is dangerous. <sighs> Bro, country girl. Thank you for the 413 sub. My microphone. Brandon, we're here where they say you can't record, right? 
I feel like this place is gonna hit by a hurricane. Yeah, this is it's it looks uh you know, it's the, the buildings are in terrible terrible condition down here. Like and no roofs, no windows. Yo, you don't know, like, like you hit whistling, you don't map, know who's going to pop out any minute. So, you know, you don't know how, you know, the vibe is, you know, it's off down here. You don't know what's what's what. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, there's a pimple about to jump down. It's like, oh, shit. It seems Fuck like it's not no. taken care of, you know. It seems Fuck like it's no. a forgotten neighborhood of... Of, of San Juan. It's a nice slum to live in. Yeah, there. yeah, it is. I live down here. I yeah. would live down here. I swear. It's really nice. Like, like three months out the out the year. After spending damn near an hour in the area, we decided to try out an authentic La Perla pizza before leaving. Thank you so much. We got it. Listen, man, we got the pizza. Yeah. Out here, man. So let you guys know, this was made with anger and madness. The guy that made this was slamming doors. And yelling at people. Nigga. So that's how you know. <laughs> hey, nigga said that's the bullet plug location. <laughs> Yo, now that you say that, it looks like it, huh? It's good. Next, we ventured to a barber shop in Carolina no, to speak with some people who are active in the Puerto Rico streets. All right, right now we're in Campo Rico. This is like um half Carolina, half San Juan. This is the hood, 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 hood here. What is life like growing up in the hood of Puerto Rico? Que todo el mundo allá afuera piensa como que los caseríos son malos, me sigue. Pero el que conozca, me entiende, que conozca un caserío de verdad. Sabe que la gente de caserío papi que es bien humilde, me sigue. Pero estamos activos. Cualquier caserío que tú te metas te van a ver raro, pero cuando te vayan conociendo, pues, me entiende, ahí se va a ir mandando la cosa. Yeah, I want to go to the projects. Dice que él quiere irse, dice a tu caserío. He shot go to the slums. Vamos para allá, como tú quieras. Está la boleta, papi, estamos activos. He said that if you were him, you could go in there. Let's go. Oh, we're going to Sabana Abajo. We were told these guys could get us into Sabana Abajo, but after nearly four hours of waiting, they called it off and we went home to go to sleep. The next morning, we woke up, and after several more hours of waiting for a connection to get us into a hood, I decided to find latitude and longitude coordinates on Reddit that would take us to a waterfall in the El Yunque rainforest. What is this road? What are you doing, bro? Are you trying to end a life? <laughs> rolling the <laughs> rolling the dice, my nigga. Bro. Bro, nigga, bro, rolling I'm the dice. <laughs> but literally, I'm sure person's house. This is, yeah. Wait, wait, this looks beautiful. This looks like a vacation destination. Probably just somebody's house. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, this is just someone's house. It's probably where Logan Paul live at. They're gonna start shooting. Reddit led me astray. Why did it take me here? Bro, why did you put in longitude and latitude? <laughs> Yo, when uh, we were trying to find a food spot like, when I was in Puerto Rico, we were driving. We left somewhere. We made like maybe 30 minutes east. Not a big island, so like we went pretty far distance. And uh, we pulled up to this place and we went into a community because the food spot on the map, it was inside of the city. So when we pulled up, chat, there's this big-ass baseball field, right? Big-ass baseball field. And there's about like 20 men and like seven, eight kids just posted like this. And I'm like, damn, this is a one minute drive away from where we're eating. I don't feel too good about this. I left, I'm pussy, okay. <laughs> I left, I ain't know the area. Uh, I'm not rolling the dice like that, man. Come on now, I love life, bro. I love life. Fuck does Yo, I'm not, thank you for the three months. You fucking conquistador. Yeah. The coordinates led us to a random person's house crazy deep in the woods. Wait, so we turned around me, and bro. I stopped being it, it didn't even it didn't even lead us to it didn't even lead us to a fucking place, bro. It led us to a random person's house. It did the same thing to me. Dumbass and did what everyone else would do and just put it into Google Maps. <laughs> I've never encountered anybody that did that in my life. That was the first time experience with somebody that me <laughs> Yo gelato! You Thank you for the three month resub, bro. I think she's Christopher Columbus. Fucking took his longitude ladder. I'm bringing my camera. I'm talking to Puerto Rico. Exploiter. It looks Exploiter. so Exploiter. beautiful. Exploiter. 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 Yeah, just drip, bro. Do a donut. After driving for another 45 minutes, we pulled off onto the side of the road to check the group's morale. I'll stay here. Come back. No, come on. I'll jump oh, off. This is your big moment, bro. <laughs> Two miles is nothing. The girls just did it. What does that mean? Yeah, wait, no, 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 no. What does that mean, nigga? Fuck! So if girls could do it, you could do it? Are you saying what exactly? See, this is the patriarchy chat. It's that male bias, bro. I'm chatting my shit. What, bro? bro, it's a two mile, bro. That's first of all, we have to go all the way up and then it's a two mile hike walk. Yeah, you're wildly, you're wildly. In mud, I already came from the mud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not trying to go back? Yeah, I got out of the mud already, I made it. I don't want to go back. Well, let's just drive up to that point so I can at least see it and then we'll... 
Yeah, that's, that's you're a liar. Nah, niggas, liar. niggas is so not trying, trying to walk. <laughs> no, I'm not. Everything is not the truth. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough shirt, shirt though. No yeah, cap. You gotta <laughs> find the balance of the hundred. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, now you're, okay. uh, yeah. you're saying too much. I start to get mixed up. Am I even? <laughs> am I lying? Am I telling the truth? Well, after like the hour and a half drive up here, I'm probably just gonna go look at the waterfall. Then. I'm trying to get in the water, cleanse my soul, cleanse myself of my sins. No pause after that. Hey yo. <laughs> Come on, bro. I, I said tough, that's why. You say it's tough, is not getting one. <laughs> we have arrived at the beautiful waterfall. Paul rolled up something, so we're about to... We're about to smoke at the waterfall. Indulge. Are we climbing this shit? Yeah, let's climb up. It's just... It, I mean, not to be rude, but like, that, she just did it. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You trying to say I'm a bitch? Are we, are we really climbing this shit? Yeah. I'm going to climb and film at the same time. Yeah, you can't. I'll film you. <laughs> Now you gotta you gotta do your own shit. I'm filming you, bro. I'll film you. I'll film I'll film him filming you. Let me film you filming me. How you feel, Brandon? I feel good, man. We're up, up in the Puerto Rican waterfall right now. Nah, that's tough. All right, we're posted up at the La Coca Nostra waterfall. Yo, <laughs> right? That cool. Yo, you never really know like what to. You never really know to be grateful for something till you don't have it no more. You feel me? Like sometimes you don't feel grateful until you start comparing your situation to other people's. Only reason I say that is because my whole life, I thought every waterfall was like Niagara Falls. Because we live right beside the falls. I went to uni, 10 minutes from the falls. In my head, every, every waterfall is like Niagara Falls. It's beautiful. It's huge. You can take a boat and go inside it and catch the mist. But, um, yeah, like, no, man. That's not true, bro. It made me genuinely grateful, man. Shout out Niagara's a different animal, my nigga. No cap. Look at Nostra. <laughs> Yo. Smoking a little something. It's beautiful up here. Yo, we went from the trenches in the hood to the trenches in the rainforest. I might shed a tear, bro. It's beautiful. This is hard. Pause. There's a pause with that? You ever go yeah, to school barefoot? Hard. Okay. No. Can't be hard. Can't be soft? Nah, because then it's, that's, that's soft. That's what can it be? Tough. This got to be tough? Yeah, facts. Oh, shit. Oh, I see him. Oh! Yo, he's, he's fried. How the fuck did he get up there? Yo, what is he talking about? Nigga about to get After bit leaving by the rainforest, we again waited for hours and hours before ultimately gaining access to the hood called El Mapa, the home of rising rap star Diana. Bueno, mi nombre es Dionel, para el que no sepa, pero criarse en, en Puerto Rico, en, en el residencial Manuel Pera, el que es de caserío, el que es de barrio, un poco difícil, pero a la misma vez no es imposible, todo se puede. Simplemente hay que social y meter mano sin bajarle, trabajar duro y enfocarse en lo que tú quieres. Dicen que somos malos porque somos de barrio, porque somos de caserío, pero en verdad, en verdad, el que viene para acá, los turistas vienen y la pasan bien, la pasan chévere y eso. Yo, they're basically all saying they fuck with tourists, bro. They're basically all saying they fuck with tourists. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of countries that protect their tourists, dog. I guess every country is different, but there's a lot of countries where if you fuck with a tourist, they'll just snipe you. No joke. Because the tourists bring in money and it's like you're fucking with everybody's bag when you make it unsafe for tourists to pull up. But like, it's so weird because you get told like, oh, these places are dangerous. You shouldn't go there. Ah, ah. But it's like, I don't know, man. These, they're all saying like, bro, once at first they might not fuck with you because they don't know you, nigga. You in their territory, they don't know you. But like once they get to know you, they're friendly and shit like that. So unless you're creating problems, most times problems aren't going to find you, bro. Eso para nosotros es muy importante y nos orgullece mucho. What's it like growing up in La Mapa, specifically? Hay que fumar mucha marihuana también, ¿me entiendes? Aquí en El Mapa se fuma mucha marihuana, pero... I got, I got a friend, I got a friend, Aim High, he does the same thing, bro. Aquí, tranquilo. People rather fight or shoot out here first? Like, which one would people rather do first? Ya, por lo menos los tiempos han cambiado. Antes, todo el mundo peleaba los puños. Pero por lo menos aquí en Puerto Rico, ahora pasa un problema. Y rápido quieren meter, rápido se mete la calle, pistola, te quieren matar. Yeah, what are some rules to survive in Puerto Rico? Es hacer las cosas bien, no hacerle daño a nadie. Y en verdad la vas a pasar bien. Puerto Rico no es malo, en verdad Puerto Rico es algo bueno. All right, right now I think we're walking to the liquor store or something. Weed is good Smoke, in Puerto Rico. Smoking that it's gas legal. pack? Weed is in Puerto Rico is legal. It's good, it's that gas pack, it's that sticky pack, it's that nasty Tiene que tener un like, li, li, licencia, una licencia de, de what? cannabis. So what you call it? You gotta have a license to smoke weed? Sa, 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 sa. <laughs> we have a bar right here in the projects. When was the last time you went to a project house and they had a bar here? Listen, only in Puerto Rico you can have a bar with a pool hole and get in, uh, and slots. Selling sandwiches and shit? Yeah, and, and selling pinchos. 
Oh, autismo, look at that. They got, they got my signs up on the wall. Even in Puerto Rico, they're represented. Mmm. Was that a daycare? For my people, man. Doing a shot right now in the projects of Puerto Rico. It's a Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yo, tell him to give me a corner too, fuck it. I'm gonna get one more. It's foul, anywhere you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't got it yet. Yo, you wanna drink? You can drink. You wanna play pool? You can play pool. You wanna gamble? You can gamble. This guy runs the place, apparently. It's his shit. It's his shit. Yeah. It's his shit. You know what he gets? That's the gang sign in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah. What that mean? What that, what that mean? What that yeah, mean? What does this mean? 27. No, come on, bruh. I gotta be able to throw up a thumbs up without niggas thinking I'm affiliated, bro. We can't even do most hand signals no more because gangs took all of it. Is he being serious? If I pull out a thumbs up right now, that means something that's not good job. <laughs> Come on, but that had a meaning already, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Nice day. <laughs> and then this is no, right? This no, this. This is no, 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 no. This, no. none of that. Just no, this. Esto no, esto no, esto sí. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. He's oh, obviously joking. Yeah, aquí, Shit ain't to obvious to me, to nigga. To me Spanish, bro. Yo, real niggas drink like this, chat. Yo, that's some rich shit. What the fuck? Instead of like this, real niggas drink like this. Nah. Yo, bro, I might have discovered some shit. Nah. Translators talking to me in Spanish, bro. I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging out right now. Nah, here, don't do that. Oh, don't do this? Don't ever do that. Oh, my bad, bro. Y'all won't do it again. I'll stay doing this. Yeah, do that, do that. Let's go, let's go walk around first. All right. How much does it cost a, a month to live here? 200, 300 pesos mensual. That's a good deal. Yeah. How, much that? How much is that? How much is that in USD? Tips or advice how to up ABG Neal's swag, what would he say? <laughs> este, dile que aquí en Puerto Rico nosotros usamos las prende, eh, la prenditas, que por lo menos se enganche una prendita. Corona una baby, en verdad, en verdad. Si suelta la cerveza esa que aquí No beer, just liquor? Trago God esa. damn. That's, I come correct. I'm doing the shots, I got the chain. Right. Next, we stumbled upon an elderly man who had lived in Puerto Rico his entire life and wanted to tell the camera about corruption in the government. What is life like here? Damn, that's not what the other nigga was telling us all video. Wait, hold on, let's listen to Unk. Oh, he said the political people. Damn, the government's robbing you? Aquí no hacen nada. Se roban los chavos. Y la clase media, pues, sufre. Mientras los políticos, pues, todo para allá. So is a lot of the middle class in Puerto Rico struggling right now? Sí, y la, la isla, desastre. Los jóvenes se pierden, no hay ayuda. Entonces, lo, los que están aquí, que se gradúan para médicos o cirujanos, se dice para allá afuera, porque aquí no les pagan. Para venir a pagarle un sueldo miserable, pues. The next day, we waited Damn. around for hours and hours, literally until two in the morning, before we ultimately gained access to the legendary hood, Sabana Abajo. This Casario is where music super- Nigga said the government rob everybody, bro. <laughs> yeah, but it's different depending on where you from, bro. It's different type of robberies, you feel me? Different type of robberies, bro. It just depends. But some is worse than others. Star too. Dobleta lives. We actually had an interview with Dobleta lined up, but after he saw that I was white, he refused to speak with me, possibly thinking I was working with the police. So if you see this Dobleta, <laughs> I can assure you I have no connection with law enforcement whatsoever. So if you ever want me to come back to Puerto Rico and do an interview hey. with you, I would love to. Hey. But all is not lost because another star was willing to speak with me. His name is Slater. After starting his music career in New York rapping in English, Slater moved to Puerto Rico six months ago to begin making music in Spanish and pretty much immediately began blowing up. Listen, right now we in the middle of Sabana Abajo, my boy Slater. We gotta thank him for having us over here and you know welcome us over here. So on the late night. Yeah 3 a.m. which I'll tell you yeah. show you the exact time 251 a.m. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah so what's it like out here? Shit regular man shit Bobby out here PR man treacherous how different is it out here than like New York where you're from? It's a different place man it's a jungle out here yeah. The music scene is going crazy. New song number five trending for two weeks. Um, I just In all Puerto Rico? All the Puerto Rico. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What do you think of some stuff that people from America don't know about Puerto Rico? If you come over here on some, you feel me? 
on some not right shit, shit could go left quick. That gotta be Phantom Relative. All right, y'all niggas getting ridiculous, bro. Yo, bro, y'all comparisons is ass. You see anyone that look remotely Dominican, it's Phantom. You see anyone that look remotely East African, it's me. Feel me like, what's up, bro? Like, why y'all niggas like, y'all comparisons is not accurate, my nigga. Yeah. And people think, like I said, since this is a beautiful island, like, nothing happens, you feel me? Tell me a little bit about this, uh, like, where we're at right now, just in general, because I don't really know much about this the area. This is on a wild right here. It's my nigga Dolet, I heard this shit. Bro, on house arrest and shit at the crib, chilling. So I came to visit, bro, kick with him for a little bit. Are you sure you want us to drop you off here? Yeah, yeah, that happens a lot. They, I'm surprised they even brought y'all inside. Usually they would have been like, yo, I'll leave you at the entrance, and you feel me? You figure, you figure it out from there. That's another thing, yo. We, we can't even, yo, we can't even call an Uber in here, bro. Ubers won't even come in here to come pick us up right now. I swear to God, bro. So in the Puerto Rican scene, because I can't speak Spanish, obviously, are they like dissing the dead and stuff as well, or is it not like that? No, 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 no. Over here, they don't really diss the dead, and, and they diss the dead is like, like repercussions, like it's a serious issue. Yeah, exactly. Right away. Like over here, they don't play with that shit, man. I don't know. It's like a lot of people, at least in the New York drill, they dissing the dads and all that shit, and they some of them is getting away with it over here, like. You're not really getting away with that shit, you feel me? Like, everybody who has dissed the dead before out here, they face repercussions or apologize, you feel me, immediately. There's not nobody out here just dissing deaths and just getting yeah. away with it. That's what I realized from over here, you feel me? Like, over here, the people that die and shit, they be the people that had to die, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that gotta be on someone's album intro. Over here, the people that die is people that had to die, bro. <laughs> That's scary. Yo, that's scary. That sounds some like Terminator shit. It's like I said, don't go nowhere you not told to pull up. You feel me? Don't go nowhere you not you not invited to. When shit get nasty, shit get nasty. It's a beautiful. See, look, I'm getting mixed messaging. The last nigga said, nah, they be fucking with niggas for real. Like, feel me? And then the old head's like, we're being robbed. <laughs> old head got beef with the government, right? <laughs> and this nigga saying, don't go nowhere you're not invited, nigga. And so, like, damn, nah, see, I don't know what to do no more. It depends on the place. I, like, okay, look, as a tourist, right? How the fuck is you supposed to know? <laughs> like, how are you supposed to know the area you about to walk into? You not invited, my nigga. You don't know, bro. There might have been a restaurant you saw on, like, Google Maps, some shit like that. You thought was fire. Ah, ah you trying to pull up. Feel me? Full place. The difference between Puerto Rico and New York, bro, is out here. Is don't go there not invited is the ultimate rule. Nah, 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 nah. Nowadays, chat, feel me? Anytime I travel somewhere, I tap in, bro. Feel me? Like, I, I make sure I know niggas there. You feel me? When I'm going, I'm place I'm going to Ethiopia, like, I know people there. So, um, <laughs> shit, I'm not taking no risks, bruh. Well, I'm taking some risks, but, you know, I'm not taking no dumbass risks. Way more militant, bro. This is one way in, one way out. You know who's coming Had in? To tap it's, in. Just, it's, too, it's a whole different ball game, and I'm talking to you live. See? Sabana, Abajo, about and you put me on to the good shit. Is there racial tension in Puerto Rico like there is in America, or is it different? I remember, Puerto Ricans is, um, African, Spaniards, and, and Tainos, you feel me? So we all, we all one, you feel me? Yeah. But don't get me wrong, you know, they got, they got like, um, like the bougie Puerto yeah. Ricans that's like the whites, you feel me? The whites, and they, they be racist towards, like, they judge, you feel me? Like, definitely, mm -hmm. I don't really come in contact with them, you feel me? I don't really, you don't really come across those. So you're talking about the uh, Puerto Rican music scene. Who are some of the best artists in Puerto Rico, in your opinion? Right now, um, Chimi, Young Chimi. Dobleta, Prechol, myself. Let's talk about Dobleta's music. He's been doing it for a while? Dobleta, he's another one. He wasn't even supposed to be an artist. The first song he ever dropped blew up. That's it. Prechol, same shit. He wasn't an artist, man. He was just got in front of a mic, talked some shit, blew up. Got the hottest song in PR right now. Shout out my nigga Prechol. We call it Glizzy Gang, you feel me? The gang, I ain't gonna lie, I know. I tell I, I... Hey, Sheed, Sheed, where's Sheed at? Sheed, Sheed, do something, nigga. They took y'all name, bro. That's Rasheed name, bro. Glizzy gang. Nah. Glizzy, this nigga got glizzy emotes and everything. Nuts, bro. You got to stand on business, brother. Out there to the, you feel me? Glizzy. Yeah, in, DC, in DC, they have glizzy gang. Oh, they got the glizzy gang from DC. You feel me? Shout yeah. out shot glizzy and shit over here. We got the glizzy gang too. Like New York will take that shit. I'm from New York, so I get it all the time. You feel me? They make fun of the glizzy shit, but fuck it. Hey, glizzy gang, that's the gang. You feel me? We got me, Precho, and Doleta, Chimi. Yeah, right now, niggas, I ain't gonna lie, we like the hottest. Big Glizzy right now, Gang. Like all little <laughs> circle right there. There's deep. already a Glizzy Gang in D.C. She think, you not a fucking thug. Stay quiet about these thug topics. Let the thugs in the chat speak. You feel me? You're a good fucking, you're a good, you're a good model citizen. You feel me? Whatever we drop, everybody jacking it. As always, the extended cuts on Patreon. I really appreciate you guys watching. Special shout out to ABG Neal for making this happen. Go My follow God. him on uh, what? 
Uh, Instagram, ABGNail1, Twitch, ABGNail1, YouTube, ABGNail, everything. Okay, gracias por el apoyo y gracias a ellos por venir aquí. Y saben que esta es su casa. Aquí pueden venir todas las veces que quieran. Also, if there are any fans out there that are interested in making clips of my content, I just had two viewers start a TikTok and a YouTube page, and they are already making nearly $2,000 a month. Oh, shit, sure. I thought he was going to ban me from watching his videos. I was like, damn, bro, I just started enjoying your shit. <laughs> Oh, so you like the video? Boom. Oh, yeah. you, you you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the link. What the? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like,